Hi guys. So yeah, today I'm going to demonstrate how we crimp uh, cables for pinball machines. Uh, we're going to do two types of crimps. We're going to do a ribbon cable, which is these ones here, you can see. And then we're also going to do these Molex connectors here, which are a 0 0.156 inch pitch or 3.96 mil connectors. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so these here are 34 pin uh, ribbon connectors and we're going to attach them to this ribbon cable here, which is also 34 pin. Now this is a ribbon cable crimper. They're easily purchased on eBay if you want one. Um, I'm going to make up all your ribbon cables uh, for all the pinball guys who are the recipients of the cables at the moment. Um, but I'm just going to demonstrate how you would use these in the future if you wanted to. It's super simple, super satisfying. I highly recommend that you do it. Uh, and you can make all your own ribbon cables from now on. And they can be rainbow. Who doesn't like rainbow? Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, the person you can hear in the background is Ivy Price, she's helping me with the filming today. Alright, here we go. So here's the 34 pin connector. I'm going to stick it into, you can see in the crimper, it's got a little groove on either side here um, that corresponds to the groove on the connector. So I always put them in the same way because on WPC uh, pinball machines it doesn't really matter which way that groove is because the um, header pins um, aren't keyed in that way so it doesn't really matter um, so I stick it in there so it's nice and tight and then I just get my ribbon feed it through one side here like so so it comes out the other side make sure it's all square and then press down done pull it out and that's the crimp super easy right and we just get the next one feed it in the same way Push the ribbon through. I've marked on the ribbon where it's supposed to go, so make it nice and easy for me. Press down, make sure it's square. Crimp. That's another one done. Okay, so these cables that I'm making up are unusual WPC connectors. Usually, between the uh, MPU and the power board, it's only this part here, but because we're making an extender cable for the afterglow board, as you can see here. It's extra long, so I need another connector at the end here. So I'm just going to grab that now. Put it into the crimper unit. Feed the cable through. And then make sure it's square. Push it down. Boom. Done. And there's our cable all finished up. Very nice. Let's move on. Daddy Price is bound to roll. Yes, take away. <laughs> Thanks, Ivy. Now, we are now going to move on to these Molex, the 0 0.156 inch pitch Molex connectors. These are the ones you're going to find um, all over a pinball machine, uh, predominantly in the back box, uh, connecting uh, uh, the power board um, to bits and pieces. Um, and pretty much everywhere else. There's this, there's the, also the smaller connectors as well, but we're going to just focus on these ones for the time being. So these are the uh, connectors that we use. Um, now these are, let me just see, these are, I use the 22 to 26 AW, to AWG connectors, uh, even though they're meant for smaller gauge cables, I find that they tend to, they tend to bite a lot better. Let me see if I can get a good image of that bit hard to take it there you go so I find that they bite a bit better than the ones that are meant for the cables we actually use you can see that the cable here that we use is actually um, more like 18 AWG um, but I find that these these connectors work a lot better so the first thing we do is we uh, get the cable that we're working with and we just need to take off uh, using a pair of wire strippers we just need to take off um, approximately the last uh, mil uh, or so of, uh, of insulation. Um, we only just want a little bit, not too much, uh, too much and the crimp uh, won't be uh, as strong as it should be. Um, so we just take off the last mil. Uh, you can see that these wire strippers that I use have various 
uh, different cable gauges here. Um, usually uh, it's just, uh, you know, we just use one of these last um, ones here. And that's it. Ivy just needs to leave the room. See you later, Ivy. Bye. Okay. Now we move on to the actual crimp itself. Now let me just try and work out what I've done with my connector. Uh, this is uh, the Molex cable crimper. Um, all of these parts and tools and everything, I'll put links to uh, in the comments section uh, or in the summary section, whatever it's called, um, so that you can get these bits if you need to, at least in the UK anyway. Now, uh, what we then do, you can see that these these crimpers, um, they're ratcheted, so they'll, they'll hold tight until you get to the very last bit, and then they'll open up again. Um, the two uh, teeth that you can see here are meant for different uh, gauges of cable and connector. Um, in this particular case, we use the, what does it say here, 24 to 30 um, section. Um, so, look, sometimes I find that um, the gauges that they mention here aren't necessarily what correspond to the uh, connectors or cable that you're using. Uh, and sometimes it's just a case of a bit of experimentation with the tool that you're using as to which um, section that you end up using. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our connector pin. Oh, come on, focus for me. There we go. Grab our connector pin, um, which you can see there. Now we grab it from the front and then we feed it through uh, onto the far side of the uh, crimper and then we engage it until we hear a click and then that will then hold the pin in place. Um, now what we do is we grab the wire that we prepared earlier. Um, now I found that uh, crimpers will sometimes have a tiny lip inside the teeth mechanism that will stop you from pushing the cable uh, in too far. The little lip will butt up against the uh, the insulation and stop you from pushing it in too far but quite often they won't have that either so probably what is the best approach that I've found is to hold the cable about a mil from the end uh, of where you uh, stripped the insulation and then when you feed it through your fingers then act as the stopper from uh, pushing it in too far so once you do that you then engage the crimp push it all the way down pull it out and there you go you've got a perfectly crimped cable with a nice tight connection. Now it's time to uh, push it through to the connector. This is the Molex connector that we were talking about earlier. Um, these Molex connectors will have teeth on one side that will hold it in place when you push it into the header. There will be a locking mechanism on the header that holds it in place. And on the underside we've got these holes. Now these holes hold the connector in place by holding onto a little tooth that's underneath each of these connectors. So these connectors get pushed in uh, in this direction, in this direction with the teeth at the top, um, and uh, get held in place by that little tooth that's underneath the connector. So when we're pushing it through uh, into these connectors, we push it in through the back, and uh, we count from the right-hand side as to what pin we're, we're, we're pushing through. So this is pin one, this is pin two, two, and this is pin three. So we're going to be pushing it into uh, position one or pin one. Uh, and you push it in through the back. Hear a little click. That's it. That's all done. That's a nicely, perfectly crimped Molex connector.